It seems like ages since we last had a chance just to sit and talk. I know what you mean. So, how's everything been? Exhausting. I went to every single hideout I had for the last few years. Chief Valentine has been sharing all the intel you've collected. What little there is. I feel like the main character of Far Cry Blood Dragon, gathering collectibles for no other reason other than because they are there. What is it with open world games anyway? I like them, but so many are filled with pointless objectives that do nothing but fill in the lore or give you an achievement. I agree. There's just something special about being able to explore a vast open game world. But more often than not, they're filled with pointless content. If I recall, Blood Dragon pokes fun at this. Developing an open world game usually takes up so much time and resources that many developers fall back on the scavenger hunt trope to fill the world with things to do. It seems to be getting worse with every new open world game. Maybe. I think developers are aware of this, but don't know what to do about it. So how can devs fix things? Ah, now that's a good question. Bethesda has tried addressing this with their Radiant Quest system. That random quest generator used in Skyrim and Fallout 4? Those can get really repetitive. Well, I did say they tried. It wasn't a bad system, it just has limitations. This is why a lot of developers fall back on the idea like scavenger hunts for achievements. Those have their fans, completionists and such, but not everyone likes them. The scavenger hunts need a purpose other than just giving the player something to do. Some games have you collect things for rewards. Like Fallout 4's overdue books, which earn you tokens you can turn in for prizes. But the prizes often aren't worth the effort then the whole reason for hunting for things needs to change. If you put a scavenger hunt in an open world game, it needs a purpose that makes sense for the world you are crafting. What would that look like? Say you're in an Elder Scrolls or Witcher-like game, and you are collecting tomes and scrolls. Some games have you do this, and when you turn them in, you'll often get gold. But, what if how many and how often you turn in these pieces of ancient knowledge has a real effect on the game world? In what possible way? As you collect these things and turn them in, you start to notice changes to the towns and cities. It is small at first, but over time it becomes more noticeable. City defenses improve, towns start to build defensive walls, building architecture starts to improve. Vendors start offering new, more unique weapons and armor, and new kinds of spells you've never seen before become available for you to learn. Those are already in some games without the scavenger hunt aspect. Yes, but these would be in addition to that say in a sci-fi or modern military game, things you find could be intelligence. What you take with you, or how you do a mission, could be affected by the intel you bring in. Like, maybe, if you found enough intel, some missions that are frontal assaults could suddenly become stealth missions. Or, they could lead to side missions that make the main story missions easier. Like you find intel in the location of weapon depots. Take out enough, 
and your next main story mission won't be as tough because you've weakened the enemy. Exactly. Shadow of Mordor does something similar. Finding intel lets you learn more about your enemy. This idea is a step beyond that, and you gave a great example. Thanks, but there could be more, right? Yes. Take the Radiant Quest concept and turn it up a notch. Employ some AI in the cloud and a little bit of machine learning to craft better random encounters and side quests. That is some serious outside-of-the-box thinking. When I talk about innovation in video games, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Fresh, new, outside-the-box thinking that reinvigorates old tropes or tosses them out completely. To go to the next level, that is the kind of innovation open world games need. I hope we get that kind of innovation soon. So do I. <laughs>